Are you excited, Mani? I'm so excited. It's a beautiful day. Photo shoot in progress here. Bloody having a Bunnings sausage sizzle. Welcome. They're getting married soon. Oh, this is our Bogan oldest son, Jaden. This is our youngest son, Will. This is a Bogan because he's a sparky. Hey guys, welcome to a very new episode. This one is going to be extra exciting, because where are we going, maybe? We're going to Fraser Island. One of our favorite destinations. One of our favorite destinations. So unlike most of our videos, our uh, Fraser Island's certainly not gonna be our first time. Uh, we regularly go over there uh, at least once a year, if not more, if we can. So um, this episode's gonna be extra special as well, because not only is it going to be us two old fogies running around, but you're going to get to meet our uh, beautiful boys and their girlfriends. And well, you also get to meet uh, Danielle's sister, her husband and her daughter as well. So it's going to be a full family affair. Um, we'll be on Fraser for a week, so I'll get to take you to all of the amazing places. Yeah, uh, Lake Mackenzie, Wathumba, Eli, Eli Creek. Creek. What else is there? Mahino. Oh, Mahino, Champagne Pools. The Red Cliffs. Bloody Orchid Beach Tavern. <laughs> or Orchid Beach Driftwood Bar. It's going to be mint. And if you're lucky, you might be able to get, well, you might be able to see Ant Drive Barry through Nagala Rocks. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to go to Sandy Cape. What do you mean, might? <laughs> you might crash. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not my first time going to Fraser Island. So, um, yeah, can't wait. We love Fraser. It's, um, along with Ningaloo Reef, is probably our most favourite part of Australia. Yeah. 120 k's of so much variation. Pristine, so. white sand, blue ocean. Yep. So hopefully we have good weather to bring you as well. Look at it today. Perfect. Yeah. And Mavo and I have a sneaky little, little lover's rendezvous. Uh, at a little Airbnb in Rainbow Beach as well. We did that last year. Oh, and it's our wedding anniversary. Oh. Mavis gets to celebrate being so lucky having been married to me for 21 years. Oh. Isn't that exciting? That's so exciting. <laughs> All right, look forward to a good episode. Woo! And here we are at the uh, Rainbow Beach Sandbow. Mavis has got a cute little dress on. She just bought it at the shops. So ever since when we got back to around the Brisbane area, we're a couple of hours north of Brisbane, but anyway, somebody's been cold. It's like 24. It has been cold. The days are like 28. It's This is about, what is it? Quarter past four. Someone yeah. looks like a plucked chook. I do, it's freezing. It's not that cold, mate. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, it's not freezing, but it's cold. He's fresh. <laughs> Kids having fun in the sand. Over to the hinterland. So over to the distance is Double Island Point. Um, famous around southeast Queensland, where all the young fellas take their four wheel drives, uh, do silly things, but at least they're uh, not doing it on streets. And this is where the kids go down the hill on their body boards. And maybe he wants me to walk all the way up here to put the drone up. <laughs> it's so many. And over the back there, I won't keep because of the sun, but you've got the hinterland. It's um, really nice sunset. Really nice sunset. And maybe, what did you notice straight away when we walked on here? How soft the sand is. It's beautiful. Nothing beats so Fraser, Fraser sand. Not that we're on Fraser yet, but similar sort of feel. You'll see in the rest of the video how awesome the sand is at Fraser. A bit windy, windy. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's all right. So I walked all the way over this side of the sand blow. See my footprints. Maybe stopped in the middle to take photos. Never come up this high before last time we've been here, but there's the beach at Rainbow. And the town as you come in. Beautiful spot. Bloody hard walk quick. 
hard work walking this thing. There might be a whale down there too. I am just driving up in Skip at the moment, which is probably not advisable to be filming a video, but are you excited, Mamie? <laughs> I'm so excited. It's a beautiful day. Hopefully the weather, hopefully the weather stays good Hoppy. for us. Hey, Will, did you lock your hubs? Yeah, I've done it for driving here. You want to be now? So, uh, here we go. <laughs> Here we go to the famous Inskip Point. High. Second gear high. Yeah, you probably could make it through in two wheel drive to be honest. That's actually quite good, isn't it? It's unreal. Anyway, let's so turn anyway, the camera around. on the Manta Ray Barge. So this is a barge that runs from Inskip across to the south, southern tip of Fraser Island. It's about seven minutes, seven to eight minutes across, although they're running three barges today and we're on the second barge. So I think he's gonna have to go a little bit slow uh, to let the other one unload and reload it on the other side. Anyway, it is 130 bucks return for a normal four wheel drive, 200 return for up to a 3.4 meter trailer and um, whilst, oh, and a four wheel drive truck, 230 bucks return. So it seems a bit dear, but um, how else do you get to Fraser Island? It is actually, <laughs> it's way cheaper than a lot of other barges that we've used around the country. Oh my God, yes. What about that one over to Hamilton, Hamilton Island? Oh. That was $250 just for Just us. two adults, <laughs> no car. No car. So yeah, that was an interesting one. But anyway, um, we are almost on Fraser. It is 7 a.m. It is a cracking day, albeit it's a little bit windy and a little bit cold. But uh, you know what? It's gonna be so good. We think we're gonna go up to Eli Creek to start off with. So um, given it's such a good day, we need to take advantage of it.
right, here we are at Yurong Village. This is about the first main camp when you first step in to Fraser Island on the south. So there's a resort up there, there's a lot of day tours and stuff go up there. Um, there is cops on the island apparently. So lucky I didn't have any beers yet. And you can get pies here. If you So, when you come into Fraser, particularly, this is a Friday, be Friday before the long weekend. Uh, there was police at Yidney Rocks, and it was pulling over every single car doing breathalysers. Uh, and they did have one young fella pulled up and were doing some defects on his car. So, uh, uh, everybody in this convoy were a little bit lucky, in particular the boys, uh, that they were friendly. So they've been given a uh, bit of a word to lose a few things when they get home off their cars. But uh, thanks nice cops. Where are the boys? Up to the reverse and back. So we're going to come this way and the other way. All right, so we're working against the tide here. Our youngest son, Will, decided to help out. Good Samaritan he is. Another guy with his car with some oil. And then he went to start his own car and now his own car won't start. Always the way. Just another day on Fraser Island, mate. Yeah. Just in the nick of time, oh geez. Just in the nick of time we got the car going because that tide is getting really high. Thank goodness. All right, that little pit stop did cost us. It is uh, getting very close to high tide. I think it is high tide, obviously. Um, it's 11.11 .11 and high tide's 11.45.
day that keeps giving uh we've got some congestion up here i hope no one's bogged because that would not be fun the tide is surging we're gonna have to go around if not there's indian head it looks beautiful Otherwise we'll be eating bloody salt water. See? Easy mate. This bloke's stuck or they stop there for So we're out of trouble with the tides now. We just gotta hope that Will's car makes it to Orchid Beach and we're right. Uh, I'm gonna have a thousand beers when we get there. <laughs> That would be nice. Not a thousand. Two thousand. Coming up to Orchid Beach. Whoa! Hey, a bit fast if there, we, hey? If we get there. Here we are at the world famous Driftwood Bar at Orchid Beach on Fraser Island. <clears throat> and look at this. This is a new addition. Usually this is Bog City. See the sand? It's usually everywhere. But uh, it's all fancy. It's a bit boggy here in your thongs. Club's going hard. Two hours before we check in. Time for uh, 3,000 beers. Good times. There's the kids. Girlfriends, let's hope that Will's car starts. The old Griffey Bar and Trading Post. Here we are at Champagne Rock Pools. It's been raining all day. Oh. Here's Ryan. It's Rugby League Grand Final Day. It's going to be a, a very quiet night with just a couple of lemonades drank at home. I'm going to be a double winner today. So I'm going to put $10 on the Eels to win. Right. But I go for Penrith. Pen 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 <laughs> I go for Penrith and then if the Panthers lose, I win Sportsfoot. But if the Panthers win, you lose money, but you have. I lose money, about. but I'm happy. Yeah. Oh, like what a great, what a great uh, philosophy. Win-win. Oh, oh, it's a lovely day here, Fraser. And you're from New Zealand. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Tide's coming in hard. <laughs> There's Maz. Freezing. There's Leah and there's Emma, all scuzzled up. In a fishing church, you go on fishing. <clears throat> One of Fraser's main attractions at high tide with an awful lot of swell coming in uh, is just this is Champagne Pools. Uh, it is not at its beautiful best today. It still looks cool though. Very dangerous today though. And we're about to get wet. So we are bailing and going back to the house to drink beer, I think. Or to the pub. This is a house we stay in up at Orchid Beach. It's called Driftwood. Um, it is an absolutely awesome spot. It's on about an acre. So there's also some beautiful houses around. 
Today we're heading over to Watumba or Watumba, depending on how you want to pronounce it. It's on the uh, sorry the, the west side of the island. Uh, Fraser's really long, but it's quite narrow, so it's about a 40-minute drive across to the other side. The beautiful estuary, the entrance to the south end of Platypus Bay, and uh, here you go the Bogan kids and their Bogan cars uh, getting ready to go. Here we are parked up. Here's Will and Leah. Hello. Will's dodgy old patrol has Rig. made it. Rig. Made it to a thumber, which is surprising. Uh, look at that awesome. It's low tide, or it's like an hour towards the high of the low. So there's going to be a lot more water come through this channel. We're going to be floating. We've got a lovely little uh, party seat set up over here. Ryan's rigging up his fishing rod, getting ready to catch the fish. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this, this is Jaden, our oldest son. Right. Thinks he's a cowboy. Yeah. And he's a rough, <laughs> rough rider. That's Talzy, that's his girlfriend. They're getting married soon. Oh. <laughs> Here's Aunty Maz, which is Danielle's sister. Here's old Mavo. Hi. And there's Scuzzlebutt. Emmy, who's our only niece. Oh, well, You're on this side, our only, yeah, well done, Maz. Maz produced the goods finally. After how many? Eight boys, I think. Not bad. It's only nine o'clock, so luckily we're up at Orca Beach, so it's nice and early. But, um, yeah, how good. I think we're going to have a good day here. The beautiful thing about Watumba too is because you come across the middle of the island you don't have to worry about tides as much. The only challenge we're going to have with tides potentially is the water coming up over here but I think you're pretty much above the tide line. Actually you can see the tide line here. So we could basically do the whole day here. We've got lots of sausages, bloody lots of leftover pizza. It's going to be a good day. When Maybe and I are really rich, we're going to get a boat and we're going to moor it over here too because it's so nice. Good times. <laughs> Setting up the gazebo. Starting to get a bit busy here now. Lucky we came early. Wait till you see the drone footage coming up. <laughs> you should go again at high tide, hun. Mate. I'm not here to put socks on caterpillars, of course I'm going to go again and buy time. <laughs> Mate, is a frog's ass watertight? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Pay for it. What? How did you drive in the morning? No, when I was ripping it out. Time to do an official intro. Your boogers. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mary Ann, this is old Mavo's uh, sister. Say hello, Mavo. Nice. Hello. Honey, Mavo. Oh, Morris Property. Yes, if you're, Morris if you're, Property. You're selling a property in Bow Desert. Well, you need to buy. You want to invest. Where are the guys? I just say move, Brisbane. Yeah, move Brisbane. Move with Maz. That's it. This is Ryan. Ryan's the other Hello. half. Uh, Ryan is also a property tycoon and part of the Morris Empire. Um, this is Tails or Tails or Talia. And this is our Bogan oldest son, Jaden. Bogan? Bogan. 100% Bogan. Hippie. He drives that big Bogan ute over there. He's our carpenter. He, yeah, he's our carpenter. This is our youngest son, Will. Sorry for the baby. He, uh, he's less of a bogan because he's a sparky. He runs around with a purse all day. <laughs> and, a screw, and a couple of screwdrivers. This is Leah, his lovely partner. Hi, Leah. Hi. And this is Scuzzlebutt, a.k.a. Emma. Hi. Uh, Emma is a product of <laughs> Maz and Ryan. And the other two boys aren't here because they had Speedway. So, um... You'll see plenty of these guys throughout the video. 
because it's going to get exciting. Look at that tide coming in already. And yeah, I know. It's there's just a sea eagle. Easing its way up. Let's watch Jaden eat some sand. Gonna eat some sand? I'm gonna eat some sand. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Let's go. I'm gonna fucking eat shit. What yeah. are we doing? It's great. <laughs> Take two. You throw it too far down, hey? Oh, here, here goes the pro. Come on, big dog. Oh, this reminds me of when they were little. You've got to run it for this. <laughs> I haven't done it in a while. Yeah. Alright, so we just had a little bit of a rain delay in the uh, fun stakes, but uh, that gave us an opportunity to blow up the floaties. So old mavie has got her Glitterfield uh, Netty Floaty. It's like These a lounge. The they are the best. No, they're not. Yeah. You can actually do a wee while you're floating in those because it keeps you bum below the water. There's Leah with her glittery lounge chair floating. I've just got the, um, I don't know, the palm ring, which is because that bloody Vogan oh oldest child thing. of ours. Look at my sister. Oh, that's man's floating around. Can you do that again, my goodness? Bloody, bloody Jaden is on my throne of a lounge chair that I bought in Exmouth that somebody had a bit of a whinge about because apparently I was meant to get rings. It was too big. Mate, look at it now. Everybody wants it. It's uh, definitely busier than it was a couple of hours ago. So we've hit full tide. And it's pushing through hard. <clears throat> The girls are uh, sunbaking. Maz is, uh, oh, what is Maz doing? She's making a new seat. She's, oh, she's rebuilding the bloody the beach seat. Sandbar needed rebuilding. <laughs> Will and Leah, you can tell it. Sun's well behind the clouds. Everybody's, look how full it is up there now. Holy oh, shit. Look up there, hun. So this is Waddy Point Campground. Uh, I think it's zone eight and zone nine. Uh, looks like a good spot to have a camp on Fraser Island. The gazebo crew are here. There's thrones. There's toilets, bins,
Waddy Point, Campground 8, down at the beach. Bloody having a Bunnings sausage sizzle. $3.50, please. <laughs> That's pretty good. Simple, simple living. Bloody photo shoot in progress here. Someone's decided to join our camp. Yeah, he would have been a pup last year, I'd say. So the sausage sandwiches were a success, albeit that it's like three o'clock. 3.30 when we're eating them. Someone's doing it here. No, it was caught under my camera. Now the kids and their girlfriends are heading for a walk with their old mum and dad. 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 Oh wow, get a photo this side. Here we are at the top, well not the top, that's the top, the body point. Beautiful bay. There's the big sand blows on the way through the Nagala Rocks just over there. And then up to Sandy Cape, hopefully we can go there tomorrow just depending on weather <clears throat> and Movo's nerves as to how much she freaks out about going across uh, Nagala. Uh, this is for you, Tina. You reckon I climb a lot? Nothing on this. Jaden, be careful. <laughs> Secret beach at Fraser. Yeah. We're right on top of Wobby now. So good. All the boats coming in. We're all ripping the packs in. Another one ripping in. Mm. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh my god! 